Hi there, Signs of Virgo. This is Kim here to do a reading that's going to cover the second part of November or the second half of November. November. Uh-oh. I didn't shuffle real well. I got a card stuck in there. Uh-oh. This is Osho Zen Tarot, by the way. And Osho Zen Tarot is kind of different in the meanings, um, you know, from their guidebook. Mixed with the traditional meanings, mixed with intuition is how I read them. So, and then we have the classic uh, Rider Tarot. Bottom of the deck is the Five of Cups. So Magician in Reverse. King of Wands. Star Energy, the Past. The Nine of Swords. It's interesting. Hangman, the Lover's Energy, Ace of Cups. Five of Swords Reverse. And the King of Swords with the Ten of Wands Reverse. So this is a pretty good reading. So. In this reading, there is a little bit of a root issue or underlying issue of clinging to the past or having to get through emotions but not being, I guess, not able to at the moment. We well, have the Empress energy here too on the bottom. Some of you all could be pregnant like again with that um, Ace of Cups in the reverse because sometimes I look at the Ace of Cups as reverse as... Um, just doing something again that you've done before and the empress energy is saying that well hey maybe it's even a business that you started once before and then having a retry at that um the star energy the past energy it is about achieving you know what you want here's the issue i have with that the magician is in the reverse and normally in this deck that is your limit limitless possibilities so there may be parts of you that don't um, realize how many uh, opportunities are out there or that there's more possibilities than just that. Um, the tower energy is in reverse as the challenge. I say that this is like trying to be to build, to rebuild with someone. Uh, at the heart of the matter, you want something to work and you want something to manifest. And at the same time, it's going to be inspiration to your heart. Uh, the Nine of Swords is saying that you're kind of worried about this rebuilding, though. Possibly insomnia, too. Um, the Lover's energy here is uh, the energy of you and how you're feeling. So this is like being very connected. It could be at a crossroads, but it's definitely about being very connected to another or uh, really making wise decisions with another uh, at a crossroads. So you take that as it resonates with you. Um, the hangman energy here is the future. This hangman energy is a little bit different than traditional tarot. It means to add like different dimensions to your projects or whatever it is that you do. So this is adding different dimensions, kind of making it yours in a sense. Um, the Ace of Cups, like it says, in reverse. So I think that this is about, now we'll clarify with that one just to see what it's really talking about. So there might be a waiting period, but you certainly are going to enjoy some new dimensions and um, maybe a new thought on the way that you're going to do something. Maybe this is regarding a project. You just need to believe in your magic. Um, the Five of Swords here is in the reverse. It's in the hope or fear section. So it kind of means that you just really don't want to have confrontation or conflict. And in this deck in particular, it tells you not to compare. Um, so maybe you're comparing yourself too much to another if it's in the reverse. You know, like they have the bamboo tree compared to the oak tree or whatever. Just because it's hollow inside does not make the bamboo any less 
Wow, sturdy and useful, right? You can use that for anything. Um, the King of Swords here is with the Ten of Wands in the reverse. You're really uh, letting go of the notion that you have to do it all yourself. Completely letting go of that. And why? Because you are the expert. It's almost like you're the uh, leader uh, in whatever it is that you're doing and what you do. And it's knowing the rules and regulations. It's knowing how to be um, disciplined too. It's kind of like a mix of all those things. So let's see why the magician in reverse. The star, the seven of wands, the ten of swords, and the chariot. Walking away from a painful ending because you realize what you're standing up for or what your truth is. It has to do with this past energy with the star and then it also has to do with the chariot. So it's gaining momentum and getting um, faster and faster. And it's usually associated with like a reinventing of yourself too after something was kind of painful to get through. Tell me about the Ace of Cups in the reverse. And there's the hangman. So this hangman energy is here and it's in the environment here. So I would say that that's just part of this waiting period. But... Just be disciplined, and I think you'll be fine. Maybe get more sleep with the Nine of Swords. It might have to do with sleep or worry, or you know what I mean? So tell me about this Nine of Swords. Uh, the Magician in Reverse, again. So it's how you're feeling um, just regarding your magic and trying to get something to work. Tell me about those five of swords in the reverse. Ooh. What are you thinking about? While well, you're thinking about the sudden change, uh, it's in the hopes or fears. So it's only what you're thinking. In actuality, your outcome is that you relieve your burdens or you place down some of your burdens. So tell me more about that. Tell me more about that. Well, nine of pentacles. Uh, the challenge is, can you do something completely independent and be self-reliant? Um, if that's the goal, then that looks good. If the goal is more about money and financial gain, then there it is. That's a huge financial windfall. So this is good. And like I said, the Empress energy shows that a project is going to have many more dimensions to it. Something's going to be really great. For you? Yeah, and you finally figure out what is it that you're fighting for? What is your truth and being decisive? All in all, at the heart of the matter is you're very inspired by either yourself or, or something somebody else is doing to help you with your project. And that's great because it's about time. Temperance is on the bottom of the deck. Let's get a Spirit Animal Oracle card. Canary Spirit, sing your own song. Number 12, 7, B Spirit, sweet results await. And 45, Parrot Spirit, watch your words. Watch your words. And I do offer private readings. Again, um, if you're interested in that, check out the description box below. And I thank you. Like and subscribe and love and light. Bye-bye.